Welcome to Yorkshire Man Models for another unboxing and review. This time I've had a little present bought me. My daughter went to uh, Hobbycraft. She says, Is that what you want bringing? I said, Surprise me. This is the surprise. No. As a surprise, wise goes, I was gobsmacked because I didn't expect her to spend this much on it. I think they're about 20 quid, which is a lot of money for uh, your daughter to go out and spend when you're used to giving her money or instead of the other way around. Oh, get box first. Right, here we go. Falklands War Special. Super decal sheet for six versions. Figure not included. But yeah, no, that's not new that. 172 scale. Model number 1401. And on the side. I see what they mean about that. You've gotten a lot, a lot of markings, different ones. Obviously, your normal roundels and stuff, and your cockpit markings, but a lot of decals. There you go. I'm, I'm presuming this was the colour of our, our aircraft back then. Just two main colours flat euro dark green, flat extra dark sea grey. Again, the box art, dimensions, 15.3 centimetres number, what it is, they are a little bit, the area, most famous British aircraft, blah blah blah, and going down vertical VTOL and all that, and from when it fought in the Falklands or Malvinas, as the Argentinians, I'll, I was alive when that happened, the actual war, and I can remember seeing the devastated, it, it, it were awful what you got to say on TV, but I was 10 year old at the time. Yes, you've guessed I'm 50 nearly. But I was 10 year old at the time, and to a lad of 10 year old, seeing British aircraft fighting ships and everything, it was amazing. Now I'm 50, I realise how awful it was, but retract away from that, go back to what we're doing here, these are model kits. These are small representations of what we had there, whether you agree to it or not. But it's a lovely aircraft, and watching these fly, beautiful. Let's see what's in the box. Come on, there you go. Here we go. This, uh, oops, quite a bag full. For a 172. There's your decals. Very nice, the detail. Very nice. You can see the cockpit, side panels for the cockpit. And then I think we've got one. Is it this? One, two, three. Oh, five, six. So there's your six different variant or six different squadron market ones. How nice decal! I'll add another feel. Just feel them raised a little bit. First, a little bit. I don't think it's anything any uh, decal solution couldn't easily handle. And the instructions just need that out of the way. Right. We've got yeah, sprue. You can see, see, showing you what's on it. Um, it's a black and white instructions. I do like coloured ones, but don't detract from the point of the just instructions. But coloured ones are nice. But it has got nice going into that hole there. Decal going onto that. Decal there. Decal there. The seat. So you can see it's. It's not hard to work out what's happening on each section. It's section A, section B, and it's showing you how, like that, them two should be coming together. So, the wings, uh, the, uh, as you can see, on the Harry, they weren't flat. Like that, they weren't perfectly flat. They came, how do we see it? That's it, yeah. So they weren't like that. They were more like that. more of an angle. Oh, terrible I'm trying to show you, but that shows you the best. So it's showing you, look, 
there should be angle. 3A and 3B. Uh, 3A and 4A, sorry. Which is empty. So it's showing you don't try and bend them like, yeah, I've got to get them straight. They weren't straight. It's meant to be angled like that. And then you've got alternate positions for you. They like the thrusters that, that, that did the jet that lifted it, made it so that the engine pushed its exhaust down so it lifted it up. Or, or however the words I ain't no pilot, I ain't no engineer, I ain't no like that. And again, showing you how you've got different there, can you see? I don't know why, I think it's just to do with the wheels, showing you with the wheels or them on whichever. And is your, I believe that's free fueling rod, I'm pretty sure on it. All your different missiles and bombs and stuff. Colours. This is where I think colour instructions make quite a difference. Because when you look at that, and it's, it's alright. But it'd be easy to start and get any colourings wrong if there were more than just the two colour scheme. It's only two, so you know, you can see you've got what's grey and what's dark. But if you had three, possibly four different colours on that aircraft there, you, you, you won't be able to, you'd constantly be looking at, oh, is it number six, is it number 12, whichever it is, if you know in the colour charts. and Easy one, it's, the, it's a coloured one. And you've got your different variants, you've got your B, C, D, E and F, and it's showing you the different markings, where they go, and what they are. It's a nice kit. That's a present, it's fantastic, because I've got it for now. But yeah, and it says the designed by Hawker Siddeley in the 60s and participated in the Falklands. It certainly did. Anyway, let's have a look in the bag. You can use it to pull apart bag. Uh, no, get my knife back. Uh, don't you, I haven't seen how of the kit is, I've not looked to be honest with you, I didn't quite. Is it on the side somewhere? No, 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 no. Uh, not there, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, 2017, here we go. I always, I don't know why I do it, but 2017, always, I tend to forget it, I don't know why. Look for the date, see what's on it. I don't, don't buy kits for when they were made. I buy kits because I want the kit. I like what the subject is. Although I didn't buy this one, so... Yes, a lot of sprues. And... Yeah, you can tell it's a more modern a kit. A lot more detail on that. You've got even little ridges there in that. Lots of detail everywhere on that. Yeah, I do like it. I do like that. I like it when wheel sections are all one as well. <laughs> Although these don't look like they are. Do. These were the ones I believe went on the wings. To sturdy it when it landed. I don't think it was rocking and that. Or whatever. Yeah. There's not much flash, just like a bits. A tiny bit there. Bit on there. Tiny bit on that there. We and, and we we are talking like a bit there. Tiny bit tiny bits of flash. Nothing. Nothing really. It's nice. It's hard to make these we are gaining some flash. Even tiny bits, because we've got to think when they're putting the moulds together. And it's getting injected in. It only needs the tiniest, tiniest gap and it'll squirt out when it's melted plastic. It's going to be a sizeable kit when it's done. It's going to be something like that for a 172. Not a bad size kit, that. Yeah. Another one. I'd say to go into the stash, because it is. But it'll be coming out soon, I think. I want to get this done soon, to be honest. It's, it's, it's too nice a kit not to. And it is 
Falkland's remembrance has just been done and it does kind of bring it to memory and like I say I, I remember it on TV not a lot I was only young I'm pleased with that even more so because it was free but I'm very pleased so thank you daughter I suppose I'll have to buy her a kit back a car I won't have but I can't tell her she might forget and canopy nearly forgot this right put out of here put it out there and that there's no real flash or anything on that to be honest and it looks very very nice very clear see through the obviously you got a bit of distortion because it's a bent can of you know what I mean it's, it's plastic bent but it's pretty pretty nice that one yeah they're not big so you've got your two canopy pieces and you've got what's obviously a running light or something like that there but not going to get a lot not with that size and 72 hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you around soon oh please don't forget to subscribe and like it does help me out I do enjoy it when I see it happening cheers thanks a lot everybody